What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Neon Abyss. So, good news. Oh geez. Uh, there was a bit of an update, mostly a bug fix in the game. And in it, they also, I'm just looking to see if there's a way to, if it says how to unlock them. It doesn't. Um, in it, they also removed a couple familiars that were causing issues. Uh, they removed the jack doll the one that drops grenades because players were complaining about the grenades bumping them or blasting them into the into the path of enemy shots uh there's the silver orbital that hatches into wukong uh, was removed because if you have explosive rounds you can't shoot through it and the explosion would hurt you it's happened to me a few times and they removed the stupid cat that eats your hearts and gives you moldy hearts instead. So I am not sad to see any of those go. If it means more zombie sisters per run, call, color me interested. Um, the patch came out three hours ago, so I don't even know if it applied to this run. But there you go. There, there's your little Neon Abyss update. So, what's our goal on today's run? We know how to get the token of... I didn't even read what the item was. We know how to get the token of uh, Ares. There you go, that's his name. Don't wear it out. So we're going to aim to get that. We gotta take a couple of violence steals early on. Uh, I don't know if it's just two or three violence steals in a single run, or if we can take a number of them consecutively. But I'll try to get them early on, just to guarantee that we have it. And let's look at what our gun does for now. Delivering internal romance, when your bullets hit a crystal, it will explode. Drop a crystal. So like this, interesting, interesting, uh, let me in. So on our last winning run, what the heck is this? Oh, that's a new thing that we unlocked. I have no idea what it does. Um, on our last, where was I going? In our last winning run, that's what I was talking about, we got a bunch of items that do the same thing. We went up with two forms of flight and two or three forms of mapping. Uh, so I would like very much, oh, don't do that. That would have been so smart to make it drop. Man, if only my brain was good. If only. Do you think I understand now, as a uh, adult, what what people mean when they say that. Uh, or, okay, I feel justified as a child thinking that I was smarter than the adults around me. Reduce your heart containers and add shields. Also increase your weapon damage. Okay. Thinking I was smarter than the adults around me. Just let me finish. Because, like, I was in high school and everything I did was about STEM, STEM, math, science, engineering, technology. No, I was smart in that sense. However, I was not people smart. I was not. Books. I was not street smart, I was just, all I knew was school stuff, which I knew a lot of, but in the real world, as an adult, that stuff is important, but not, also I can't believe I never activated that, um, not going to, what the heck was that? So did it hit the crystals? And then... I got hurt. 
That's probably it. There was probably crystals inside, which exploded and hurt me. Ain't that some... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, big brain time. Okay, okay. So drop one of those. And then drop another. Oh, egg, thank you. There you go. There you go. You hear a strange sound coming from afar. Now, I've never activated that before, so let's figure out what that does. Who to wear the... What happened? What? Lame, dude. I went through that very small amount of trouble, and that's all you give me? Need more crystals? Oh, it costs two. Okay, okay, hold on. I'll, I'll find some more, just you wait. Uh, preferably not this way. We could go in here. And we'll do the... The little... Trick? No? Are you just gonna orbit into it? No? Did they fix that? They removed my cheat code. Who told? Who told about my trick of getting into the danger room free? Wait a minute, I'm Matt. I can just roll. What's wrong with my brain? Send it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's drop a crystal here. This will give us the chest and the explosive. The explosive pays for itself. Now we ask ourselves, do we want the key and 10 cents or whatever the other thing is? Ah, oh, I forgot to roll. What is the other thing? Oh yeah, just blow it up. Let me in the room. Let me see. Let me see, let me see. I have no coins. I mean, no keys, so I have to spend coins. <laughs> Almost. Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. Please, let me in. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. So... Nice, nice, very, very, very happy to see it. There's items up top. Let me in. No, let me in. You don't break. Let me in. You. Why? Why would you do this to me? And there's no way we have top path. There's not enough keys on the freaking level for it. Now we can try, hold on, we'll just, we'll do it this way. Why did you go behind me? I specifically face this direction so they would blow up that way. All right, paid for yourself. I'm being thorough, all right? Tired of losing runs the dumb easy mistakes I made. So here, yeah, we're gonna trade some very cheap crystals. Why do you go behind? We're gonna trade some very cheap crystals for a key. You know what? I think a balance of one... No. Spend it. Look at that. And of course we're opening you. It's a single nickel. Totally worth it. Not. Again? Okay. Now I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. We want to check this room again. And what's behind door one? Also, what's with your texture? We cannot blow up the chest, nor can we open the other one. So we're out. Alright. Let's go.
go. Get the heck out of here. Tommy got a plushies. Pretty, pretty doable first boss. I do wish my range was better. Get him. Stay focused. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Just gotta, just gotta wiggle a little bit. Roll through him. It breaks his AI. He doesn't know what's going on. And we get a cool little damage up. And yo, I'm a cyborg with freaking glasses on. What more could you want? Isn't that exactly what the Terminator is? Does anybody know the difference between a cyborg and an android? I'm sure there's people out there who know and they care about it a lot and you could look it up. But like one of them started as a human, right? Every time you pick up a coin, there's a chance you'll get extra keys. Let's go. All right, then we sacrifice our health early on for the violence and also because getting items is nice and I like it and I want them. Don't shoot at me. I like the knockback. I'm afraid of the pullback when they pass through an enemy. But just keep them all the way back there and I'll be fine. No, I rolled the wrong direction. Add shields, upgrade your weapon. Key? No key. Alright, gotta be a little careful with our health. One and a half. Not great. What's the, uh... What's the Chernobyl quote? Not great, not terrible. 3.61 brokens whatever their unit measure is or the unit measure is I'm pretty sure it's not unique to the Chernobyl facility now I'm fine with I'm not so fine with that I was fine with hitting the crystal hatching failed thanks for the key uh, give hearts or shields please and I will gladly sacrifice for you Now that I think, I didn't think about it at the moment, but that cyborg was kind of a pretty bad deal because now I'm down a heart, which makes making violence deals a little bit of a bigger ask. Also, are we shooting two shots sometimes? Was that a, was that a blue screen function? Upgrade your weapon? Uh, no. It's just a thing that happens sometimes, I guess. Or maybe it's not stated, but it's part of the weapon upgrade, which is cool. I'm down for multiple shots. One of the nicest ways to increase damage. Okay, so with the full heart here, we'll walk all the way back. All the way back. All the way. There you go. We'll sacrifice a heart here. Or half one. Got our violence deal. Now, it is extremely scary. Because we'll be down to one health. Which means getting the heart doesn't matter. But, it'll be fun. Okay. Famine is a fantastic weapon. Power diamond we've had before. Player two ready. I think we've had it before. You know what? Because I think we've had all these before, I'm going to look them up. Player two ready and power diamond. Player two ready, Neon Abyss. Yes, please. Search on page. Player two. It's the word two, not the letter two. Not the, but the number two. Player two, search. All right, I'll just scroll through off that corner. It's no big deal. P, player 
Okay, it's mislabeled in the wiki. Player zero already. The more enemies you hit without stopping, the more weapons damage you'll do. Okay, so this one rewards accuracy. So I think I want the power diamond, which does upgrade your weapon, increase both your melee and weapon damage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Damage up is super useful. Famine is great. Famine is fantastic. Freaking love famine. I convinced myself. The explosives from the other gun were nice and whatever, but the fact that it can explode in your face if you shoot a barrel uh, is a real stinky. And I know how this gun works. See, that could have been dangerous if I was using the other gun, but it's not because it's famine and it just works. And Famine takes off so much mental load. I can just fire and it, they'll home in and work. And we got Zombie Sister. I didn't mention it, but we got Best Familiar. I don't know why I like her so much. I mean, it's cool because she splits into eight, but I'm pretty sure it's not that helpful. Now, I know we should be careful with our health. But what if we were just good at the game? Then we wouldn't have to be. I'll buy the heart. <sighs> I was gonna buy the grenade, but we don't have enough money. That gun sword? That in the shop? What the heck is that? Fall to the ground, cracking any stones below you. Oh, that's cool. Again, it fades after a little bit of time. Now, I have... I'm just going to try it out for a room. I have a history of uh, not liking the beam weapons in this game. By the beam weapons, I mean that one melee one that spins in a circle. It has a very similar visual effect to, to this. Uh, but I'm willing to give it a try because I haven't had it before. And because I do feel like I take famine all the time. So I'll try it. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, try. Open you. Thanks for the coins. Thanks for the egg. And it said something about uh, falling through blocks as its ability. Excuse me. So I can just like, oh. Yo, it has a ground pound, that's sick. Sick in the 90s cool kid way. Not sick in the modern. We already went over this. Irony and whatever. God of screens. All right. He is a bit of a, he's a bit of a mental load to deal with. And I would much rather be able to hit his little adds I'd also much rather have more than one health but we're doing okay so far the zombie sisters are helping a lot all right screen mode got me screen mode got me okay so the gun's fine I mean it's no famine because it has limited range don't forget to trade in your gems yeah let's see what we got Ooh, okay I think because we got to the end of this path, we unlocked tier 2. What is this? Each time an enemy is killed in this room, your weapon bullet is increased. That's neat. But we only have 4 crystals, so don't remind me to upgrade if I can't do it. Alright, good to know there's many more upgrades to be had. Now, what was our mistake last time? Uh, continuing along the violent steel path when Cyborg had already taken up you again. Ew. Once Cyborg had already taken our item, our heart away. Uh, the other mistake was running into the laser three or four times, deleting any shields that Cyborg had given us. That was real dumb and bad. And I will endeavor to be less dumb and bad in the future. 
So, I'm curious because I saw that there are many more characters to unlock. Um, what the abilities of each of them are going to be like. Now I'm going to leave that shield there for, for later. For later. Because, yeah, hearts will be plentiful, blah blah blah. And you know what? I'll spend to hurt myself. All I gave me was a crystal, but it gave a huge boost to violence, which is what I'm really after. And I think spending on violence deals early on can give you enough firepower to protect your hearts later. Probably. No, you're probably fine no matter which path you go along. Uh, just make sure you get a deal with some more violence early. Because momentum is important. Now, I've been talking about the game for too long. So let's talk about something dumb instead. Like, why do... Why do we care? Reduce your rate of fire, but increase your weapon damage. That's fine. As children, and maybe as adults, if this applies to you, it's not insulting. It's just mainly it applies to children. Why did we care so much about what our favorite color was? Why? Like, I understand you were nine years old and you didn't have an identity. So you're like, frick it. Color is my identity. If you're not part of Team Blue, then you can't sit with us. Yo, wait up. Be very careful how you approach this. Okay, blow up that one. Blow up. <laughs> no. Ah, I forked it. Dang it. I wish I was good at games. Yeah, you're like, you're nine years old. Color is your, is the only thing about your personality that has any substance that like you chose. Everything else was either handed to you by your parents or forced upon you by a school. So you're like, I'm a pink stan and I want everybody to know it. But also why, who, who cares? Why wasn't something like, oh, what's your favorite animal? What's your favorite animal? Why can't that be the Great Divider? Because I'm telling you, my favorite animal when I was in elementary school, freaking blue whale. It was big. The biggest animal that ever lived. Why wouldn't that be your favorite? It's freaking. It's big and it lives in the water, but it also breathes air. That's the coolest thing. And that makes a lot more sense to me than. Oh, what's your favorite color? Uh, green. Why? Because I like the way it looks. And the green Power Ranger has the uh, flute that he plays into. And it's the best because he's the most powerful. It's dumb. At least animals have characteristics. Alright? So, if you have children, alright? Or plan to have children in the future. Or if you know a child, all right. Tell them that having a favorite color is dumb and they should have a favorite animal instead and tell them to tell their friends that too. Don't actually do that. Just don't call your kids dumb. That was obviously a joke, but yeah. Down with anti down with favorite colors. I just jumped into the shop for no reason. Uh, down with favorite colors up with favorite animals. Jump over it! Increase your jump height, even speed slightly. Don't mind if I do. Get me out of this floor, then give us any explosives. Each time you try the slot machine door, you're more likely to succeed? Uh, no. Each time you try the slot machine door, the more likely it is to say, Go away, stinky, you're locked out forever. Blue chip. Can't enough enemies to drop extra shields? Don't mind if I do. That's how I got on uh, on colors. Hey, my fire rate got increased. So when it says upgrade your weapon, it 
that there's some background stuff going on there. It's not telling us exactly what it upgrades, but there's there's some that little extra bonuses being tossed in there. Because I know my weapon rate of fire wasn't this fast before. So that's nice, but this brings me back to the whole I wish there were stats on screen to display weapon damage and rate of fire and movement speed and things like that. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, send it. Give me give me the weapon. Take my heart. Power diamond. Flight. Huge. But I think we would die because we'd only have one heart left. Taking it also takes a heart. So we'll take mutated orange. Movement speed and weapon damage. Can I sacrifice again? No. Didn't think I would be able to, or didn't think I should be able to. But had to check. Alright. Roll! Not that way. Keep keep on keeping on. So what gets me a lot is that you don't roll in the direction you're pointing your character, you roll in the direction that they're facing. Alright, let me, let me just, for those of you who aren't playing along at home, if I fire this way and I walk backwards, I roll forward. Okay, so you only ever roll forward. Walking backwards, you roll forward. This is a me issue. I guess if, as long as the game's consistent with it, unlike the tossing crystals thing, which I'm actually upset with because why would you have them toss in a random direction if they're supposed to use strategically? Oh, redemption time. It's this room again. Break them. All right, all right, all right, all right. Redemption time. So. We break one. Nice. No, 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 no. Okay, so I don't want to be hit by the explosion. I'm gonna get it. He's done it. Perfect. Nice little infinite key. Let's go. Just in time to start popping this open. Gave us the monocle. Oh boy, there's some gas. There's some fuel to get our run on the road. To get our run running. I don't know, dude. It's what we needed to get started. There's momentum. And it feels real good. So, infinite keys. Don't forget it. Our rate of fire is so fast. I love it. And thanks for the keys for the future. It's gonna be great. So I wonder if this game has, I already asked about the synergies, if it has uh, multipliers, like some items give a flat plus one to your rate of fire and defense or, there's no defense stat in this game, rate of fire or damage. And some of them are like, oh, it multiplies your that's interesting. Multiplies your current rate of fire by two or something like that. And that'd be interesting because you get one of those multipliers early on and you can just steamroll the rest of the run. You're lucky I'm going violence anyway. Zombie sister, welcome to the show. Alright, get a nice little head start on our next violence deal. Oh, I hate to do it. I hate sacrificing shields. Helm of Anubis? Hmm, I never remember what you do. So I'll leave you to your own machinations. Have fun, goodbye. I'll do it. For six cents it wasn't worth it. No. 
Let's take a little look, see? Take a little peek. Oh, you better believe I'm doing this, so. Heart, worth it. Shield, worth it. Ten cents, worth it. Shield, worth it. This was free. Look at all the loot. We are out of bombs, but I think that deal was good. Also teleported in the wrong direction. I do appreciate that this game has teleporters scattered all, all over the place. Uh, as I get older, I have less tolerance for backtracking. Oh. I mean, sometimes it's relevant to the to the lore and the pace or whatever of the game. Because teleporting wouldn't make sense, but for an action focus, very gameplay focused roguelike like this, teleporting is nice. Dude, where are you shooting? Like, none of that had a chance to hit. Yo, strange mask. Double shots, let's go. Level 3. We still need to get the token of berries. Okay, let's not forget our overarching goal here. We want to. Don't bounce on me, you jerk. And don't kill my zombie sisters. We got another zombie sister. They're unstoppable. Alright. So, boss room up there. Garbage room down here. Garbage room down here. I knew it. Coward. How did you predict? I didn't even know where I was going to be. You predicted where... That was amazing. I'm not even mad. He led the shot. He led my... He was in my brain, dude. Honestly, just floored. We're so close. One more violent steal, and we can start going Wisdom Path and feel good about ourselves again. Alright, so that's my new strategy for rooms with those dudes. You just let them teleport, sidestep, and uh, Omaiwa Mo Shinderu. Teleport behind them. Got it. Kill enough enemies and you'll drop extra keys? I'm liking all these key opportunities. Because getting that part of the economy sorted out early on, huge mental load gone. And it enables getting items in the future, etc, 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 game stuff. Do you think... I'm going back to it. Jack, you're supposed to be removed? Excuse me? Uh... Excuse me? Uh... Team 17, uh, excuse me developers, you forgot to remove Jack from my game. Token? Maybe it is three. Drilling Warhead, Mercenary Lord. I think this is one that we want. I don't want to look it up again. Keisha Rate of Fire and Weapon Damage. Oh yeah. May not have been the best one, but we definitely wanted that. Or we're happy to have it. But we still didn't get the token. So we need to be very careful. Because that means we need to earn another one. And by another one, I mean another violent steal. Can't get up there. Stop trying. So is it three? It's really three on one run, or three consecutively? That's rough. Oh, my dumb conspiracy theory. Do you think the concept of favorite colors was something propagated by the Crayola Crown Company? Alright, think who would gain the most from children forming allegiances and being very specific with their favorite color, all right? I'm not saying it's true, I'm just saying, you know, follow the money. 
Because if you got the box of, what is it, 72, 84, 46 Crayola crayons, you can be that very specific kid who's like, I don't like green. I like, I don't, I don't even know Crayola colors anymore. I like mint. Mint is my favorite color. Whose favorite color is freaking mint? I actually chose like one of my least favorite colors. Yeah, I admit it. I have favorite colors, okay? I have a younger sibling, so it's required. But you know what? I stand for it no longer. Whenever he has my favorite color, I'm gonna tell him it's a blue whale. Oh, it has a color in it. That's not. I'm gonna tell him something else. My favorite. Alright, see, this is why they removed you from the game, Jack. Your bombs are actually the worst thing. Don't throw me all over the screen. Give me health, please. Alright, a single penny and some useless crystals. That's the whole floor, though. We're good to go. I need a new favorite animal that doesn't have a color in its name. My new favorite animal is the... Hold on, hold on. I'm thinking. I'm running through my little mental... My mental National Geographic. National Geographic doesn't have animals in it. I mean, there was the kids version of National Geographic which had animals in it. Remember that? It was like, what was it called? It's just called like animals, right? I remember there'd be advertisements for the subscription and they're like, if you order now, you'll get the limited edition elephant edition. And I'm like, who cares about elephants that much? There's a marine one that has blue whales in it. I really liked whales, okay? Don't judge me. I was a child. Yo, another infinite key, let's go. Um Yeah. What what what's my new favorite animal? Let's go with polar bear. Why? For the same freaking reason as I like the blue whale. It's huge, dude. Also, it's a bear and bears are cool. Because they're omnivores and can eat whatever, but they're just like, I'm just going to eat fish and honey. At least that's what the media portrays them as, and you know, whether or not that's true, you jerk, don't take my coins. Whether or not that's true, I stand by a man who eats fish and honey. And berries, I too, get too I guess. Drop extra keys when you're hurt by an explosion. How about when Jack knocks me into things? When Jack's explosion causes me to be hurt. Huh? He won't ever hurt me directly, but he's going to be the source of some pain. <sighs> the gamble. The gambler. The legend. Alright, get me out of here. Anybody else, like, deeply affected when the Great Barrier Reef was announced dead? I know this was like four years ago at this point, but that's the. That floored me. I don't know why. It's just. Like, I was already environmentally. I don't want to say conscious, but I'm like, global warming is real, and it's kind of our fault. And by kind of, I mean it's our fault. Let's go. Okay, we need to be very careful here, because when we take this deal, we'll be down to a single heart. However, just gonna feed yourself, huh? Drop a coin that you're going to take. However, with this half shield, I now feel invincible. 
and I'm willing to bargain with you, Satan. What is with these jalapeno peppers? All your builds now deal fire damage? Cool. Also, where's my token? This is the third heart you've taken from me. I teleported to the wrong room. Was there anything in here that we wanted to buy? The duck hat for 70. It makes you real small. That's the joke. You get a uh, real tiny. What if you had a regular character model, but then it got a uh, real tiny? Cactus Babe. I'm liking the visual of this umbrella gun shooting fire bullets. That's how it protects you from rain. Yo, don't launch me. Did you see me fly across the screen? That's Jack's dumb explosive launching me. Now that I know that they were considering taking him out, that they're supposed to be taking him out, I will vocally express my dismay for Jack existing in my game. There's a vendetta against me. Uh, they don't want me to win. They're like, if this guy on, the, on YouTube wins too many runs, he'll give away the secrets, then everybody's gonna win our runs. Nah, dude. You see, the secret is, uh, nobody watches my videos, so... Why... Why is my win rate gonna affect anything? Why is it gonna affect your bottom line? Answer is, it's not. You know what? I don't want to. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna take your token. Alright, I'm not gonna do... Oh my god! Why? That's it so close. I'm falling apart. You know what? I am real glad I didn't take that violent steal, because I'd be dead right now. Alright, give me the platform back. It's alright, it's okay. You just be cool. Look for one of those many half hearts you left lying around. And. If you've done everything you can, just move on to the boss room. Freddy got a plushies. Easy enough. We set everything on fire. It rolls in the wrong direction. Get, get me out of the corner. I wish I had more range. Oh, we got him. Oh, damage up. Damage and bullet velocity. A single half shield. I should have grabbed the heart from somewhere else on the floor. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. I just should have. Oh, I wish we had better range. Okay. We're going to take a little look, alright? We'll take a look. Little look around. Oh, this room's easily doable. Peter, you son of a bitch. I hate that you exist. I don't want you in my run. I don't want you in my game. All you do is ruin perfectly good hearts. Don't blow me up, Jack. I landed right on it. Oh, it was such a nice run, too. Dang it. Where are we at time-wise? Around 45 minutes? All right. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Piano room? Mercy Hood. Bullet Crown. Alright, we'll take Bullet Crown. I heard you, I heard you. Alright, I took it. Ten. Alright. 
Well, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you everybody for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying the series or this video in particular. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.